Oh, ah, I didn't see you there. <laughs> I was just editing my first episode of my Let's Talk About This series. Don't mind me. The important thing is, I'm here to talk to you about YouTube Shorts and how I got over 6,000 views within like 12 days. Which is not a lot in the grand scheme of things, but 6,000 views within 12 days is kind of a big deal, especially if you're a channel like me, which is under 300 subscribers. You may be wondering, what is a YouTube short? Well, to sum it up, is basically any video on YouTube that is under a minute, so about 59 seconds or less, that is either shot in some sort of ratio where it's more vertical than horizontal. I think you can actually get away with doing a square, which is like one to one ratio or something like that. I don't know the technicality. They will be turned into YouTube shorts. And basically, you can have a video from like 10 years ago blow up because it just so happens you filmed in the proper format in the proper time. YouTube Shorts is new and YouTube is still in the testing process of these type of videos. And if you want to be on the cutting edge of YouTube, this might be a good chance to jump in and try it because I feel like, I, even me myself, I'm a little late to the party. I, uh, I posted my first short only about two weeks ago. YouTube Shorts has been a topic on YouTube for the last six to eight months. So I'm actually still on a little bit the behind trying to catch up. Not only did I have a jump in views, but I also had a jump in subscribers. So let me show you just what I mean. Here are the screenshots I took on February 18th. My latest video at that time was a steelbook review of the Paramount line of steelbooks. In the first 20 hours, it's gotten 63, review, 63 views, which is... Uh, my I'm, I'm lucky if a YouTube video of mine gets over 20, okay? I consider any video over 20 to be a great success, okay? That's how that's how my YouTube views usually average. And usually, um, uh, any video that's under 10 views, I would usually consider a failure. <laughs> that's, that's sort of my thinking from how long I've been doing YouTube videos. As you can see, I still haven't published my Mondo X Steelbook number 40 review of the Guardians of the Galaxy and building a pre-release deck boasting Kaldheim Part 3 yet. I started off by repurposing some of my older videos into the new short format, and then by having them release one a day, I then started to create original shorts. And from there, I, for the next, like, 10 days, I posted at the least one short a day. My first short video did not have any sort of spikes whatsoever. In fact, it's still below 20 views, I believe, as of uh, recording this. I was under the impression it's normal because all the information I've learned about shorts has been from various YouTube channels over the last couple of days. I've watched several videos on shorts, what are shorts and all that. Um, specifically, Channel Makers was the big one that stuck out to me. Uh, I like to thank them for sort of inspiring me to try this out and you know and I think I really like the creativity of shorts in the terms of just how much restrictions and just trying to make something very good in a very short amount of time in a sense. Usually it's within 10 or 15 days that a short would take off basically or may have a chance of getting on the short shelf. The short shelf is basically where YouTube on the mobile app would recommend shorts and push the shorts. And if you get on there, you're guaranteed to get either a lot of views or um, a chance at a lot of views, hypothetically. And by posting every short every day, I've noticed that, okay, the very first short I posted did not enter the short shelf and still hasn't entered the short shelf as of filming this video. The second one, though, that's when it started going off. Well, this is what I've noticed, is that YouTube around um, 11 p.m. to 2 p.m. Uh, my time, which is uh, Ontario, Canada time, the Black Panther Steelbook, that one got on the shelf, and then it got about almost 500 views. 
but then it sort of stopped it once the it hit two o'clock it just it stopped but that initial jump in views was very very surprising to me the next day i posted Kawhi leonard's legendary buzzard beater which i sort of did in the style of rocky for a full youtube video i took sort of little elements of that re-edited into the shorts format and sort of gave a little bit of an alternate cut in a sense of that shot done in the style of Rocky. And I also wanted to, I wanted mainly with this repurposing this short is to try out copyrighted music in the terms of shorts. How they work, will they work? Um, because I'm curious. It's like, will a short without copyright music do better than a short with, with copyrighted music that YouTube still allows to be viewed worldwide in a sense? So I'm very, this whole thing has been a great experiment in, in a sense. It did better than the previous short that I posted by an extra 200 views, which is awesome. And not only did I get an additional 200 views for the, the buzzard beater short, I actually got people coming to my channel and viewing my original video over the last two weeks, another two or 300 views. That is awesome. <laughs> And then the real challenge of a short came out. The next day after I posted that short, I posted an original skit video on a niche subject of Magic the Gathering, a trading card game. So if you are not familiar with the newer set for Magic the Gathering, this original short, which is a little bit comedic uh, about a certain card from that set it's a very niche video idea and it's a video idea that I knew uh, going when I was making it, I'm like this is not going to take off on the short shelf because it's very niche and it's like not a lot of people if anyone views it who doesn't even familiar with the card itself which is the center of the video no one's gonna watch this I felt but I was wrong in that one night, in less than 24 hours, I got over a thousand views on Tybalt's Trickery Knows No Bounds. In fact, as of right now, it is sitting at 1,161 views for a short, as of me taking the screenshot. I haven't actually checked it recently. It is actually my most successful short to this day. Likes to dislikes is a whole nother ball game, I feel. And it was so weird that this one original skit idea just sort of took off a bit. Once again, it slowed down to an absolute almost standstill after that little window was over at in the late night, early morning of this time where I am. But then the next day I knew it was going to be even more interesting because that is when I was actually going to post my normal Magic the Gathering video about the new set, Boasting Kaldheim Part 2. Now, I knew I generally try posting at 3, 3 p.m. the time that I'm in, time zone, Ontario, Canada. And because I know in California and all that, it, that's around noon. I feel like that's the best time to upload. So all the shorts I've been posting have always been at that time. But for this day, I wanted my uh, video to premiere at that time, around that time. What I had to do was push that the, the short that was gonna be posted that day earlier to 11, a.m. And the reason I chose 11 a.m. is because I, watching a couple other YouTube videos, uh, I came across this one from this uh, channel that I've only seen that one video from. Uh, I forget the name of the channel, but they suggested that the best upload time for shorts is 11 a.m. So I put it as 11 a.m. for that day. So I got the short a little bit early out, and then I got the premiere of the video and the premiere was actually the most successful premiere I've ever done on my channel it had at one point 
four people watching, including me, obviously, <laughs> the majority of the time was two to three people, which is the most I've ever had for a premiere. Like, especially for the length of time they were watching. But the thing is, my short, when the night rolled around when YouTube kind of experiments and kind of froze around shorts or whatever, it nothing, nothing really happened with that short. Until a day or two later, uh, when I thought the short was dead, it jumped up to a thousand views. So, shorts is wild and crazy. It's like playing with fire while while juggling like it's you never know what's gonna happen so my next short that i posted the day after which was sort of an original well, i don't know how original it is but i was inspired by sort of a bit of a meme with the super bowl because i kind of had that song in my head uh blinding lights which by the way youtube does not copyright claim at all that song is free to use and I am confused because I'm like, okay, this is this this is a popular song that's hit on the charts. It should be copyright claimed, but apparently it doesn't get copyright claimed on YouTube, not yet, anyway. So keep an eye out on that. I, I kind of want to experiment with that a little bit more, but I don't know how many people want to listen to the song "Blind Lights" by The Weeknd. As amazing of a song it is, it is a little bit overplayed. So that little short where I get blinded by a flashlight and then it cuts to the Super Bowl, that short only had five views. The entire two weeks this video has been up, only five views. And then it's like that night, that video doesn't take off. It's the the one prior, the Magic the Gathering. I got free mythics in one set booster. And it's like, is there a reason why it got over a thousand views is because my previous short was Magic the Gathering related and that sort of primed it for it. And then maybe throwing out a short that has nothing to do with Magic the Gathering, did that the reason why it sort of stumbled? I, I was very curious. So my next round of shorts I wanted to post on my channel were a sort of newer style because I, I, I kind of figured with the new shorts type format, not a lot of people will be doing Blu-ray reviews, especially like I could see maybe someone doing a very quick movie review or reviewing a quality of a Blu-ray disc or a 4K disc or something like that. I wanted to be really different and I was like, I'm going to review the case of the Blu-ray. So the Steelbook, hypothetically. Unfortunately, my Blu-ray collection is still all packed up in boxes. So I actually had to pull together uh, what I recently bought over the last couple of months because those were the only things I had available to actually unbox in a sense for these for the the shorts so i posted uh the coming to america review uh steelbook and the true grit spider-man and then uh arrival the the paramount line steelbooks i wanted to see what would happen if you post multiple shorts in the same day especially if they were similar so the next day after the blinding lights one i posted not one not two but three shorts but all of them in the similar style to the Mondo X Steelbook Black Panther uh, Steelbook review. My initial prediction was like, okay, I can see the Coming to America one doing really popular because that one was a more newer release. And I can see the Spider-Man one doing well because it's an even newer release, but it's a newer version of an older Steelbook that was done prior, but this one's the new Zabby version, which is altered. Th this, these two are gonna do very well. The True Grit one, I kind of figured was gonna be dead in the water because this is a steel book that was released like, I think maybe eight or 10 years ago. And you can find it, if you do find it in Walmart, it's very cheap. It's like five or 10 bucks, depending where you are or what it's priced at. And so I figured that one was going to do the worst of those three. And look what happened. What happened was the Coming to America one, within a couple days of posting it, only got like four or five views. It wasn't until quite recently that it went up to eight. But it, it amazes me that it only got eight views. I'm like, okay, well, let's see what the other ones do. The, the True Grit one went up to 410 views. 
as of the screenshot. Then the screenshot I took was only today is the 22nd. That that screenshot I took was four days ago, and it was at 410. And the Spider-Man one, the Spider-Man one is was at 172. Right now, if I went to my YouTube channel, which I'm gonna do right now, here's the up to date on just how well the True Grid and the Spider-Man one has done so far. In four days from the last time I took that screenshot, this is how good it was. In the last four days, the True Grit, so the True Grit one spiked, but now in the last four days, it doubled to 822 views. The Spider-Man one got got an additional uh, another 200. Yeah, it, it basically almost it doubled. It's now at 510 views. Meanwhile, by coming to America short, only went up an additional. So it's at 13 now. 13 views, and then a short that's uh, the two other shorts that are very similar got 500 and 800 views in the same amount of time basically this this is absurd and then the day after that i posted the mondo x steelbook guardians of the galaxy review and that one which i thought i'm like okay it must do a lot better especially the fact that it's much more newer steelbook i just received it in the mail and I did the unboxing immediately, posted it basically the next day, and only four views. And that video was posted four days ago. And then the next day, February 19th, I stopped posting shorts because in a matter of a little more than one week, I posted 11 shorts. And so I kind of wanted to see what happened to those 11 shorts. And so on the 19th, I just posted the part free of my Magic the Gathering Boasting Cow Nine video, which got eight views, which is, that's pretty decent for those type of videos, especially the fact that it's a video where the pre-release for that, for that set was like uh, almost a month ago, basically, and I, I'm posting it now. Obviously, it's not going to do as well because everyone's lost interest in the set. Everything's on a time limit here, people. And so I have another video being posted today, uh, which is just celebrating my first 300 custom thumbnails I've ever done for my YouTube channel and a little montage. And it's just very cool seeing me evolve over time and all that yada yada. So even though the more newer section of the Steelbook Review shorts are doing really, really good and are still kind of performing well enough, the older ones, so my original four or five shorts, the ones that hit over a thousand and all that, they're basically stagnant now. They're not going anywhere view-wise in a sense. So the Mondo X Steelbook Black Panther has only gone up four views in the last four days. And the Kawhi Leonard Buzzard Beater one, that one has gone up the most of the older ones as uh, additional like 20, 20 views, which is pretty good, especially for a short that has basically hit a wall now at this point. It's just out there. Is YouTube ever going to put it back on the short shelf? Because that's the only way you can blow up so fast. High Vault's Trickery, the original short, it it's the exact same amount. It no one has viewed that video in four days. The Matt of uh, free mythics and one set booster opening one, which I know was shot very poorly, but I wasn't expecting to have such a good pack on the first set booster box. And so when I was filming it, I was still getting used to opening under the camera, and as a result, I poorly filmed it. That video would have done so much more better if it was excellent. You saw the wrapper open, and it was very uh, fast and smooth like that video I felt I could have done so much more better but it went up only about two or three views in the last four days so shorts are such a weird thing it has to get on the short shelf in order to do any sort of views I find unless your audience is already unless you got a large enough audience that's following you that can actually boost the short hypothetically by watching it and getting it good before it even hits the short shelf that's really the only way 
that you can really stay consistently on a short shelf because I feel like because my channel is under 300 uh, subscribers I feel like uh, YouTube was just using my shorts as an experiment that's why they chose the off hours of between 11 p.m. to 2 a.m. and that's why YouTube was using that time frame to play around with my shorts and that's why my shorts did well and I don't know if I'll still continue doing short like I'm okay I'm <laughs> I'd be lying if I said I, I'm not gonna continue the shorts but I am gonna still every now and then post a short but I'm not gonna go as ham with it I'm definitely gonna use it maybe case by case maybe once every I don't really want to say time like at least once a month if not more just to see what happens because I kind of I kind of these shorts will now be up for well as long as the videos stay up and YouTube stays open and all that it's gonna be very interesting to see what happens in the future when YouTube shorts goes out of beta because I've noticed on my phone when you're viewing YouTube on your phone your mobile app basically uh, if you're viewing on desktop you're only going to see the shorts videos as if they were normal videos, but you won't actually see the short shelf. You won't see when you go. I have it set up on my channel now that if you're watching on the YouTube app, if you go to my channel page, the very first thing you should see is the shorts things under my channel trailer. Well, and it has a shelf, and that's what the shelf would look like uh, if you check it out it's in that style you got the length videos and it's like a whole bunch and you can sort of scroll through it if you're on desktop you will not see the, that short shelf on my main YouTube page because that's the way YouTube has shorts designed and how they have it laid out I have no idea what I am doing but I do kind of like this little challenge what shorts have done to me because not only yeah I got a whole bunch of views but I also got more subscribers in in this two weeks than I have in the last maybe two months that's how big of a, a bump in in stuff so in the last 28 days actually hold on let's let's just do February let's isolate February because that's when I started my my uh, short binge you know January has <laughs> only two subscribers which is pretty good <laughs> as far as my channel is confirmed 1600 views and so that's from all my videos I've ever created over the last 12 years that's the combined total of those views now going to February plus 15 subscribers and 6600 views that's that is an additional 5,000 views and most of it is because of the shorts to throw away shorts as it's not working I can't because uh, it is getting me a lot of views and a lot of subscribers in a sense and a lot of reactions to my videos I've gotten more people hitting like or dislike on a video this month than I think I almost got all of last year in a sense okay that might be a little untrue to point out just how crazy it is last year I released the video I worked really hard on called spoiling tenant which was trying to spoil tenant before the movie even come out and that video took an entire month to get to a thousand views and boy was that satisfying because I worked really hard on that video I put a lot of time and effort into that video and it got a thousand views 90% like dislike ratio so 38 likes four dislikes that felt satisfying uh, Talbot's trickery knows no bounds it got a thousand views within within 24 hours I don't like I did work hard on making that short video but once again it took me about two days the the both plan shoot it edit get it up and then pushing it out there I didn't it didn't feel as satisfying as say my spoiling tenant video which took about a month to get a thousand views but it felt more earned like I don't know I, I still have a mixed feelings when it comes to shorts and how they work and what exactly happens to them hypothetically I mean if you're watching this far in this video let me know in the comments below 
do you watch YouTube using mainly a desktop type browser type thing or do you actually use the YouTube app to watch YouTube off of say like a phone or device let me know in the comments below because I'm very curious to find out find out any information at this point basically if uh, if your YouTube channel you feel like is not going anywhere or whatever try the YouTube shorts try posting uh, one every every couple days if you can't do at least you know one a day do it for a bit or even maybe one a week at least you know just try the YouTube shorts because I find that even if the YouTube shorts don't do anything editing wise and filming wise they've helped me out tremendously because just I feel like I'm actually improving because it's like how do you convey a 10 minute video down to 10 or 20 seconds a lot of my YouTube shorts that I did post ended in the 40 and 50 second range which is pretty long for a YouTube short but I still feel like I cut a lot out and how much I cut out and how much information I was able to convey with such a small video. Hopefully this video will be as short of a video. <laughs> so check out my other videos if you want. I make a variety of content on this channel related to movies, games, shows, whatever. So I want you to have a nice day or night or whatever time you watch this. Have a nice whenever. Thanks again for watching. I really appreciate it. Now if you excuse me. I gotta let's talk about this episode one to edit. <laughs>